Sepsis is a complex syndrome to identify. It can happen to people outside of the hospital as well as in the hospital, and that's where our focus is now. The mortality, depending on the study setting that you look at, is somewhere around 30 to 40 percent. Number one cause of death in ICUs in the United States. It can progress in a matter of hours. It can smolder and progress over, over days. If we detect early, intervene early, patients can have remarkable outcomes. Early antibiotic therapy in patients with septic shock really makes a difference in improving survival and decreased mortality. At UCSF, we've had a great team that's worked together to come up with an adjunct for early detection within our um, electronic health record. We've basically implemented a, an electronic screening system to help uh, the clinicians identify these cases as soon as possible. The laboratory data and patient vital signs get input immediately when they become available. The system has uh, the ability to identify in real time biometric data uh, on our patients. We started the program about two years ago on some pilot units and now we are spread to the entire adult hospital. Our system currently is a two-tiered system where the first uh, tier is looking for what's called SERS criteria. There are four criteria that make that up. Abnormal temperature, abnormal heart rate, abnormal respiratory rate, and an abnormal white blood cell count. The next stage on that evaluation is determining do they have severe sepsis or septic shock. If you look at uh, pre-post, uh, the initiation of this two-staged uh, electronic surveillance, our, again, our mortality was somewhere in the 30 to 40 percent range. Mortality has declined to 12 percent over the two years, and that translates to about um, 121 lives saved over the past two years. The goal was to get a mortality down to less than 10%. In the beginning of this project, I was like, there's no way we can do that. That's just not possible. But after these two years, I think it is possible. And I think it is something we can definitely achieve. I don't think we expected the improvement in compliance and outcomes so rapidly. And I think it really is a tribute to the amazing leadership of our quality and safety team and the interdisciplinary nature with physicians and nurses and respiratory therapists and pharmacists and the informatics specialists all on our team working together. And to watch the program go from an emergency department surveillance to the whole hospital has just been incredibly rewarding. Lots of challenges along the way, but uh, the people, you know, all the group has been up to the challenge and it's been great.